Good morning, my internet darlings, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Duel. As you can see, the team match event has begun, and we are Team Poliwhirl, which is apparently kind of killing it in the rankings. We're at the top. Uh, not really a fan of that. I kind of wanted to be last place, but uh, we'll see how things progress. We also got a brand new banner today, but before we go into that, I just wanted to remind you that there are figures that you're going to have to change because they get reset. Make sure to change your Mega Scissor, your Scissor, your Mega Sceptile, your Sceptile, your Cobalion, your Moltres, your Genesect, your Lucario, your Ho-Oh, any increases to damage or allocation will have been changed you don't actually have to go into your library to do it you can do it from the fusion area and just long press your figure and select what you want to do but that said let's go ahead and head into the shop and take a look at these new figures all right starting at the bottom we have drillber he is a 2mp uncommon pokemon with Metal Claw for 60 and Dig. And at the start of your turn, instead of an MP move, you may move this Pokemon to a point two step aw steps away your turn ends. So that could be very useful for avoiding a possible surround. I'm a fan. And of course, its evolution is Exadrill. When this Pokemon moves from the bench, it may move to a point one step away from the entry point. If it does, your turn ends. So I don't know if that's going to be like Empoleon. It might be. We'll just have to see if and when we pull it and use it in a duel. It's got two-star dig. It's got some dodge. It's got a huge miss, which is only going to get down to four at level five. And it's got drill run for 100. But if the battle opponent is knocked out after the battle, this Pokemon moves to a point the point the battle opponent was on and this Pokemon gains weight. That's an interesting ability. It sounds similar to some others. Uh, we'll have to see how that works out. Next up we have Houndour, a dark and fire Pokemon. This Pokemon and Pokemon that battle it become burned after battle. So that could be very bad. If you do not win, this could be very, very bad. It's got a 40 will slice, or 40, 40 damage of crunch, and a 2 star roar. It's got a ton of miss, which we knew it was going to because it's a fire Pokemon. Let's get real. All the fire Pokemon have a boatload of miss, and it's horrible, and I hate it. The next in the evolution line is Houndoom. When this Pokemon is on the field, your fire type Pokemon deal plus 10 damage. For each burned Pokemon on the field, if this Pokemon is burned, Pokemon that battle it become burned. It's got 130 flamethrower, nice big wheel size. It's got a boatload of miss, as we knew it would. At level 10, it'll have two four slices of miss. And it's got a 60 damage fire punch, and it's got fiery breath. Where the battle opponent becomes burned, you may spin for a Pokemon within two steps. If it spins a white attack, that Pokemon becomes burned. So, pretty nifty little ability there. Definitely new. Last in the evolution, we have Mega Houndoom with the ability Breath of the Abyss. Same as before, while this Pokemon is on the field, your Dark type and Fire type Pokemon each deal 10, plus 10 damage for each burned Pokemon. On the field, Pokemon that battle this Pokemon become burned, and your Dark type and Fire type Pokemon each deal plus 10 damage. It's got a nice hefty wheel slice of that 130. It's got 80 Sucker Punch and the Fiery Breath. So evolved, this will have a 150 Fire Blast and a 100 Sucker Punch. Not bad. Not bad at all. Definitely worth the time. Next up, we have Growlithe, the pre-evolution to the Arcanine that we already have. It's a 3 MP Pokemon, so nice little runner. It's got a boatload of miss. Uh, looks like it's going to be very similar to Stuffle and uh, Solgaleo and others that just have the two attacks. So if this Pokemon gets burned, that's very bad. It's got a 28 wheel slice of crunch for 70 and a 52 wheel slice of flame wheel. 
If this Pokemon is knocked out, the battle opponent becomes burned. It's got the ability of bite down. The battle opponent of this Pokemon cannot move by effects other than the attacks of this Pokemon until the end of battle. So, uh, sorry, Ultra Beasts, you're not going anywhere. Unfortunately, that doesn't... Wait. So, Ultra Beasts would move this one, but it itself would not. So, sounds fairly similar to the abilities of Solgaleo and Lunala. So, we'll see how that goes. And, of course, we have Growlithe, the Arcanine, which we already knew we had. Uh, the Searing Shot is pretty good. The Flare Blitz, also pretty good. The Extreme Speed, I'm looking forward to seeing it evolved. I don't know uh, how well that's going to work out, but uh, we'll definitely see. Next up, we have Registeel that has Lock On Gold instead of Lock On Blue. If this Pokemon is not affected by a special condition, then instead of an MP move, it can force an one opponent one opposing Pokemon within two steps of it to spin if the spin results in a gold attack. Attach a lock-on marker to that Pokemon. Your turn ends. It has a 32 wheel slice of hammer arm for 150, which is huge. It's got Thunder Wave, where the opponent becomes paralyzed. And it's got that little 24 wheel slice of multi-blast. Knocks out all Pokemon that have lock-on markers attached to them. I don't know if this is an improvement over Reggie Rock or not. I guess we're just going to have to see. The hammer arm, that, that's definitely an improvement. The, the up and damage. And last but not least, we have Mega Lucario. A 3 MP Pokemon with a little bit of everything. It's got purple, it's got blue, it's got gold. While this Pokemon is on the field and unless they are expected affected by special conditions... Your fighting type and steel type Pokemon are not knocked out by gold attacks from the battle opponents. Your fighting type and steel type Pokemon each deal plus 10 damage. So that's pretty awesome. That That's like an extended Cobalion thing. It still only has a 1 star Aurasphere. I'm hoping that becomes a 2 star when Mega Evolved. We're going to have to see that Bullet Punch for 110 becomes a 130. So yeah pretty nifty i can't wait to take her for a spin unfortunately none of these figures are in the exclusive loyalty boosters which i have 23 of my goodness we've got mm, good portion of the megas but obviously not all of them we've got the zirka tree which i definitely want i don't have it yet uh just about everything in here i already have i don't have guzzlord wouldn't mind getting one of those. So everything else in here is pretty much going to be for chain levels. Uh, wouldn't mind another Shaman Land form or Sky form. Otherwise, yeah, not, not too good. Uh, so we are actually going to go ahead and pull on the 10 packs first. Also, just so that you're aware, there is a new set of single exchange similar to the Gratitude. It's got a different color, and your regular gold ones are going to disappear until you've pulled on these. I'm going to go ahead and save all those up and do another booster opening for another time. Uh, I'm, I really want to do the 10 packs instead of the exclusive loyalty. So I think I will save the exclusive loyalty for next week, maybe? But let's go ahead and pull on these. Alright, sorry about that. I had to plug in real quick. We're going to go ahead and start opening these up. First up, we've got the Drillbur. Nice. I'm a fan of getting a new one first off. I will definitely take it. And we've got a Bronzong. Not too bad. And a Durant. I don't care for that. I really don't. I have six. I don't care about chains. I'm never going to use it. We've got a Weezing. I'll take that one. More things for status conditions. And another Mawile. Still looking for a Shiny in Pokemon Go. And a Poplio. Alright. I've become more and more of a fan of Poplio. I have started watching Sun and Moon. And I'm a fan. Another Bailey style. And we've got a Scyther. Alright. 
I don't have a Mega Scissor yet, so I wouldn't mind pulling it in this banner. We've got an EX, and it's regular scissor. All right, I'll take it. I think I only have one scissor, but I'm not sure. Another Scyther. All right. Um, a new plate. Oh, I did not even notice new plates. We've got Charcoal. Choose one of your Fire-type Pokemon on the field. While that Pokemon is on the field, it deals plus 20 damage. Your turn ends. All right. And, of course, I did promise some um, questions. Uh, Bill S.E.H., the professional, asked uh, what my first Pokemon game was, which it was the first Pokemon. Uh, I think it was Ruby? I think it was Ruby. It was a very long time ago. Uh, but after that, I really didn't play the games. Uh, my parents were divorced, but living together. So it was a little uncomfortable in the house. So in the house is where all of the games were. So instead I was out and about doing other things and learning Dungeons and Dragons, oddly enough. Uh, I did not play another Pokemon game until Pokemon Go came out, unfortunately. All right, for our second 10 pack, we are going to grab... Another Poplio. Alright. There is a lot of purple in the game right now, so that could be useful. A Flareon. Alright. I think I only have one or two Flareons, so that'll be good. And we've got a Murkrow. Uh, Aaron. Alright. Or Aron. I think it's Aron. And a Togedemaru. Nice. And another Drillbur. And a Gudra. I, I did enjoy that uh, that line in the early days of Pokemon Duel. Metagross. Okay, I'll take it. I think I only have one. I could be wrong. Next up, another Togedemaru. I don't even know those things were in here. And we've got a Drillbur. All right, so that's it for the second 10-pack. Uh, Devani asked, who or what made you start playing Pokemon Duel? Uh, I was watching Trainer Tips Nick, and he if you don't know who he is, he is a big Pokemon Duel, not Pokemon Duel, Pokemon Go YouTuber, and apparently some YouTuber named Chicken turned him on to it. So I watched him play a little bit and then I decided well it looks kind of interesting let me check out this chicken guy I watched his for a bit and I really enjoyed it uh, looks looked like a mix of uh, Pokemon and chess because of the way the board is set up and that very much appealed to me I enjoyed playing chess when I was much younger and yeah so, Trainer Tips Nick and Chicken made me decide to start playing Pokemon Duel. And then seeing Chicken's videos made me think, well, shit, I can do that. <laughs> and here I am. Alright, for 10-pack number 3, I'm getting a little bit of lag, which makes me think my phone is probably... Oh, hi. What? What? Alright, another Me Mega Blaziken. I'll take the chains on that. Uh... But like I was saying, I'm getting a little bit of lag, which makes me think that my phone is choosing now to do its uploads of uh, updates. Hi, Magirna. All right. I'll take another Magirna. I think I only have the one, but I'm not sure. And a bronzer. Definitely more than happy to take chains on that. A Litten. Fan of Litten. Oh, hi, hi. What do we get? An Onyx. Alright. So, Brock is happy. And a Beldum. Alright. I don't think I have three of each of those, so... A Growlithe. Nice. I did not even notice that until the end. Oh, hi, hi. What do we get? Alright, so we got the Houndoom. I'm a fan. Now we need the rest of the evolution line. And another Litten. Alright, so that's it for that 10-pack. Iceman asks, what do you want added in the game the most? So, this one I had a hard time really deciding on. Because I did think about all of these questions. 
beforehand. But uh, for figures, I obviously I would like to see myself added in the game, Mistrevis, and its evolution. For actual like gameplay features or features in general, I would like to see them do something with social where you could see your the people you're following's duels. Like if they have recent duels, you can rewatch them. That kind of thing. I think that would be very interesting to see in the game. I know they're not going to bring trading. I would love it if they brought trading, but I know they're not going to. They're, they're, they're too pay to play. They're not going to bring trading into the game. I understand that. I would love to see trading in the game, but I know it's not going to happen. All right, for 10 pack number four. Oh, we're seeing gold already. Nice. We've got an Espeon. I'm a fan of that. She is actually one of my favorite psychic types. And a Mawile. And next up, we've got Bronzong. I'll, I'll take chains on it. I don't care. It's okay. And Ryulu. Alright. Unfortunately, Ryulu has a buttload of miss. Uh, Scyther. And, oh, hi, hi. What do we get? Another Ho-Oh. Alright. I, I am a fan since the buff. It was a much-needed buff for Ho-Oh. I'm glad that they are buffing as they go, as they become relevant in the meta game. Another Togedemaru, which I didn't know much about until I wa started watching Sun and Moon. Same with Rowlet. Uh, definitely adorable Pokemon. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Solgaleo. Okay. I don't have a 10 10 Solgaleo yet, so I'll take it. And another Ryulu. Alright. So, Eddie's Skull asks, How old are you? Uh, my normal answer to this is 29 again. <laughs> because once I hit 29, I didn't want to get any older, but I am in my 30s, and I actually have a birthday coming up on the 9th. So, about a week and a half from now. Um, I may save my exclusive loyalty tickets for then. We'll kind of see how this next one goes. Um, he has one other question, which I will answer after this next 10-pack. Alrighty. We got the lag going again. It could just be that a lot of people are on right now, pulling things. Oh, Exedrill. Alright. I'll take another new Pokemon. Well, we still need to get the new Megas. We got Flareon and some of the pre-evolutions. We got Bronzor and hi, hi, another Ho-Oh. And Weezing. And Aeron. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Mimikyu. Alright, that's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. I definitely have a new respect for Mimikyu after starting to watch Sun and Moon. Okay, that's my third pre-evolution of that, so I'm good on that one. Don't need any more Skarmory. Not bad in the lower levels. And we're going to get another Lucario. That's okay, I only had one. So, fan of that. Did we get any new plates? Nope. I don't know if it was just the one new plate before or not. So, Eddie's Skull's second question was, favorite Pokemon of all? Uh, it's really tough. I have a lot of favorites. It would be difficult to pick just one. Obviously, I love Mistrevis. Um, I, I have favorites in every different category, I guess you'd say. Of Pokemon so it would be hard to pick just one I am a huge fan of Gengar and Mega Gengar as most of you probably know uh, other than that I'm a big fan of the grass Pokemon like uh, Sceptile the entire Sceptile line I love they're they're frankly adorable um, I love Shiftry I don't know why I just do uh, I can't really think of any others off the top of my head it's difficult to pick one favorite. Yeah, when it comes to favorites, it really just depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Being a Gemini, that's true of pretty much everything. Like, I don't have one 
top favorite song. I don't have one top favorite movie. I have like a chunk of them. Still have 3,920 gems. So I feel okay about doing maybe two more 10 packs. And then we'll save the exclusive loyalties for my birthday. So there will definitely be one up on June 9th. Or maybe I'll even do it the next video in this week. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Definitely stay tuned for that. And you know, the, the best way to find out when the new videos are to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Rayulu, which disappeared for a moment. And Magmar. All right. Lots of miss. And we've got a tour cat. All right, not a bad runner. We're definitely going to be likely seeing a lot of fire. Another Beldum. I will take it. I'd rather see it in Pokemon Go, though. It, it's rare in my area. Uh, Beldum, uh, the entire Waltz line is more rare in my area. Magby. So for that, I'd probably have to go to Vallejo. Uh, to basically the steel mills. Finally, we got a Houndour. Nice. Yeah, we have some, some steel mills and uh, stuff like that over in the Vallejo area. Registeel. Nice. That's awesome. So that kind of makes up for not getting any of the Megas yet. Unless this is it. Nope. Moltres. Alright. That's okay. I don't mind. I think that's my third and final Moltres. What do we got here? A Incineroar. Alright. So we're going to do one more and that is going to be it for today. Alright. Up next we are going to grab... Oh, hi. Hi. That's a Mega. That's a Mega. Alright. Another Mega Sceptile. I don't mind. I only had the one, I believe. And next up, got a Dartrix. Can we get another Mega? Can we can we get a Mega that we don't have? Maybe? Maybe? Tia? Taiki? Be nice. Please? Please nice? Blessed be to Taiki. Blessed be to Tia. Please? And another Registeel. Okay. Alright. I've got two. I'm happy. And next up, we're going to see Magmar. And or choreo, Bailey style. So I have a feeling that I mean I've got have had some luck, but not that much luck, not as much luck as I normally get. So I have a feeling that uh T and Taiki, alright, Cabalion, I'll take another one of those. So I have a feeling that all of the luck is over on Kenny's channel. That would be kdub175 so definitely go take a look at his channel and see what he pulls out of this banner because it's got to be awesome i have a feeling he's going to be really really good out of this banner but that said thank you very much for a wonderful year i hope you folks have a great weekend and i will see you later